Meow, Lily video. Oh, it's that one bad. I got him right in the head. Welcome back to another Jonathan Snares episode where today we take our Daisy 880 Pew Pew machine out squirrel hunting from the treetops. The beauty of this air rifle is it's compatible with BBs and pellets. Let's get it. What's cracking, little Johnny? Stay at the eye. Let's get it. Ooh, today we are going to be squirrel hunting with the Daisy 880 BB gun air rifle. And this is a dual chamber, double action majiggy bagong gong. You actually put your BBs in here and you can insert your pellets right here. Today, we are going to be hunting squirrels from the treetops. If I can magically shoot one, I highly doubt this is even feasible, even possible. But you can see up there, you can see up there, right there, it's a squirrel's nest up there. There's quite a few of them around here. Neighbor's feeder, they're getting in his feeder, they're eating all his feed, he's getting Piast, and he's like, get rid of these clock suckers. Let's let's dispose of them. And I'm like, all right, I got you, my Uncle Greg. This thing shoots pristine. Let me show you a little example. I right. I'm gonna take me a 20 yard shot. I shot from that tree out there, which was definitely a 15 yard shot, if not freaking more. This little device, I'll tell you what, it is the most accurate little machine you will find on the market. And it's only $53 or something from freaking Amazon, man. Go get you some. Generally, that would be dangerous, but this pew pew machine is so powerful, it just drills through anything, anything you put at it. So if I happen to see a squirrel, I'm gonna snipe him. He'll fall out the tree like a lump of coal. This is gonna be lit. My ghillie suit, freaking, you can't see who I am if I'm running in the woods. I'm gonna be unbelievably quiet. Hopefully I can't get me one of these guys up in the treetops. Oh my gosh, I got him right in the head. That's fake, man, no way. Dude, that shot was phenomenal. That should be on the freaking news. Holy crap. I pinned him in the head. All I could see was one square inch of head. That shot should be on the freaking news. I can't believe I just did that. I shot him with one square inch. He, he whipped around and all I saw was his little head between two branches and somehow I shot his head. That was so phenomenal. That was phenomenal. That has to be the most wicked shot there ever was on the internet. That's, that's some Kendall Gray stuff. Smoked him, son. It's a, a tree rat. <laughs> Daniel's like, yeah, let's eat it. As I finished my hunt, I got prepared to clean my kill. And I know my buddy Greg, he will be very proud of me and happy for his birds. JSCI, right, let's get it. Ooh, now we finally got our little squirrel right here, our squirrely squirrel right here. And now we're gonna go for a little catch and cook, catch clean, and look right there, we got our fire cooking. That's a banger, bud. Dude, that shot was phenomenal. For me to shoot him, like, for me to just take my freaking BB and go, what? He had to have been 75 feet away from me. I'm not hitting you. 25 yard shot. I was standing up, standing up, and you wiggle a lot more when you're standing than if you're prone. I'm resting my elbow on my knee with my hand under the firearm, with my hand on it, with it against my shoulder, with this one to support me right there. 
just like Call of Duty or something. Or no, this one should be on the ground, the knee on the ground generally. Just like that, look how still I am. And then look at me, how still I am like this. I'm pretty still, but and that's what sharpshooters do. <laughs> that's my squirrel right there, man. He's cooking, his, his blood's boiling. Now, I'm gonna go for a little cooking action. Holy dick, man. His eyes are already dried out from being on the coals right here. Mine are as well. I'm gonna do a little skinning action on him. And heck, we might wrap him in some foil, have some freaking pepper, throw him in there, eat him, just like that, son. This is a smokeless fire pit, by the way. Cracks here and holes in the fire pit and it sucks up the, and it throws in the cold air. It, it, it's like a air conditioning weirdy thing. And guess what? It freaking burns hot, bud. Yeah, we're gonna make our first incisions around here. Satanists! <laughs> That's some good meat right there, bud. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut him up. Dang, man. I'm never gonna get over that shot. That's something to tell your grandkids. We're washing up our meat. Look at that, our hairy hands. That is some good food right there if I've ever seen. Wrap it up in some tin foil. Put a little bit of seasonings on it. And look at all this hair on my hand. Look at all that hair, man. All right, let's get to the seasoning. Now I take the squirrel with some carrots, some freaking bacon, and some beautiful squirrel, and I wrap it up in my tin foil and get ready for a good meal. All right, let's get it. Ooh, now look at that. That's some juicy little meat there, Sonny. Ooh, hot, hot. Look here. Ooh. Hot! Hot! I can't be near this thing. Now you drop. Now what I presume would take 30 minutes because it's so hot. Hot. This is going to burn the food. Hot! Dude, don't, don't put gas on my food. Food with a chainsaw. Oh, the excuse. See, we don't do illegal activities. Sauce he pretends you. it was for the chainsaw, it's like he's not gonna douse you. the fire. Hot! Ooh. Ah. Now you cover it up. I seen this on Steven Rinella. I think this is a little hotter than what he was dealing with. But that should work. I'm gonna put it on for 30 minutes. He, he cooked a head for two hours, deer head, so. I'm gonna bet some 30 minutes these are little legs. Hi, we'll see you then. Cha -cha. I'm gonna check if the food's even there. Do you hear that? Sizzling. She's sizzling. Sizzling, bud. Like, check what's up. Let's check if it happened to even cook it or if it even exists. <laughs> How about that for roast beef? How about that for some roast beef? Man, does that look astonishing is what I will say. Yeah, I forgot to add the salt and pepper. Put it in the video, forgot to add it, but it looks like it's fully cooked. It smells like a, a barbecue per se. I'm not joking you, the carrots are nice. Look at them carrots. That's some good carrots right there, bud, but bacon, that's some good stuff. Bacon from a sauna. Actually, I better make sure this is cooked. Is that cooked? Oh! Ah! Now what have we got? Oh, my mom says it smells bad. She was coughing and puking, and it's like, dude, this smells like smoked meat right here. This is as fine as it gets. Look at that, that's some bacon. Of course we're eating that first. Ronald McDonald in the clubhouse. <laughs> you know, that doesn't taste bad for a tree rat. That don't taste bad at all. Let's give me a thick thigh. Yeah! So I was telling my son, he looked a little cockeyed, if you know what I'm saying. Not to mention his donkey dick that he was wiggling around the room with. Believe it or not, when we turned the cameras off, we shot a donkey's dick from the tree. And believe it or not, 
This was the Appalachian cockeyed donkey dick. And if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Them carrots came out nice, man. I'd say that's the best part of this meal, man. Other than that, you gotta get rid of the squirrels. They're crawling in my Uncle Greg's tree. If a cockeyed Wallace wasn't such a cockeyed Wallace, who would be the one digging up the dirt? You know what I'm saying? All right, Jonathan's there signing out. I'll see you on the next adventure. Holy, don't get it, it's so hot out here.